how I came across fostering was I just heard an advert saying that they desperately needed local authority foster carers. Uh, and so I sort of followed it up. It was an advert on the radio. And at the time, I didn't even realize there were different options. But as I, a beautiful thing about doing this tour is I speak to so many people kind of in the industry in different ways. And that's can often be people who are employed in school people referral units or in schools to support care experienced people. And it's really interesting, their perception of the different types of fostering. And I'm really passionate about local authority fostering because I, I think you know, our money goes further, right? And it's our money and we should, we all want to protect young people. So let's just make sure that, that, you know, the tax money that we're playing is going as far as it can. And in my perspective, from my research, um, you know, it's, it's not going to a private equity firm like it can do. You know, it's not going to a pension company or stakeholders. It's going, your money from the community is going back into the community and the young people. And I think if people knew, uh, the extent to which um, young people were being used for profit by organizations, I think they would be really hurt and, and really upset. So I, I don't think people don't have an awareness. And it's something until I started, you know, becoming a foster care and kind of finding out about this, I had no idea the extent that it goes on. So I would always be an advocate for local authority foster care.